De La Sola has been painting for well over two decades and has the honor of having a pair of his paintings in the permanent collection of the new Invertebrate House at the Smithsonian Institution as well as paintings in the Palau National Museum and the Guam Council on the Arts and Humanities. He's also taken his artwork throughout the U.S. and even in Europe. He's here to promote his upcoming show taking place at the Hyatt. Now, Mark is here tonight. Mark, off thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, now, now our, you know, we have so many artists on from various disciplines and everything. Um, what do you paint? What is, what is your joy? And what do you find, like, as an artist, like, the easiest to paint or the most challenging? Well, I came here uh, back to Guam and then went to Palau. And then I developed a style when I was in Palau from diving. And I realized that it was impossible to capture all the fish because there's a million zillion fish everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I was like, going, I'm not going to be like those Hawaiian guys and try to paint every little fish. It's just impossible. <laughs> so I just said, well, what I want to do is I'm just going to mix all the colors that I see and just throw it like action painting, like a kind of like Jackson Pollock or the New York ex uh, abstract expressionist. Sure. So I developed this style. Uh, and I've been working on this style for 20 years, and it's very uniquely my style. And I, I don't see anybody else in the world, and I've traveled all over the world, that has quite has my style and my technique. And I owe it all to the environment here in the Pacific and Micronesia for, for inspiring me and developing this technique. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking a little bit before, before we came back about um, some of the mechanics of your style and everything. And talk a little bit about what you do with the painting, because it seems to... Uh, be a derivative of like maybe Dadaism and everything where you actually let several different you know colors kind of just blend and then your works kind of yeah, happen it's, that it's, way. It, it, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of fun because I, I lay out the canvas on the floor and I map it out like a map and then I come in and I just fill in the map so the paintings most of the painting is done on the floor mm -hmm. and then I take it up and I put it up vertically and then I come in and fill it in you know what I mean so it's it's kind of like like I'm floating on top of the painting right. when I'm working on the ground and then when it's up then I, I can go in and, and visually look at it from you know the standpoint of the audience so it's like two different interesting ways of viewing the painting. Mm -hmm. Now of course your work is also featured in the mainland you're featured in Houston as well as other Yeah places. I have a gallery in Houston Deborah Colton Gallery and then I have a gallery in uh, Washington DC Govinda Gallery and I've taken for the past 10 years I've taken my work for here and then brought it to the galleries there and it's it's strange when I had have exhibits. One time I had an exhibit in New York City, and I was out in, in the front of the gallery, and this light was just radiating out of the gallery from the light here in the Pacific. And it was you know it was just our colors and our intensity. Mm -hmm. And in New York, I'm 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 in showing with the, in this East Village, and there's all burnt out buildings, and it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a very good gallery. But it was interesting to see this light radiating out, and you're like, wow, this is really wild. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was interesting. Okay. Uh, and how has your work been received, you know, like in other parts of the country, maybe in contrast it, to some of the it, styles it, there? I, I think it's a little bit intense for, for the people, because they just don't see these kind of colors. Mm -hmm. And I tell these people that this is, I'm not making this up. You know, they're saying, oh, this is uh, cartooning and, and all that. I say, no, 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 this is, this is the real colors in the Pacific. This is our color of water is not brown. It's green, blue, turquoise, aqua, you know what I mean? A million different colors. You can actually see your hand in front of your face if you go underwater. Yeah, I'm saying there's a million. There's, and, 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 and I've worked 20 years in Palau, and that's, that I've come, I, I, there's so many colors just in the ocean and uh, in the sky and, and you know I set my lounge chair out watch the sunset every day and it just blows my mind even here on Guam uh, yesterday I was at the uh, Aruno for an Easter picnic and I, I saw the green flash it was amazing beautiful to see as soon mm -hmm. as the Sun hits the horizon that flash in a millisecond of mm -hmm. green light so it's a very I, I the people in the States are are almost uh, mesmerized by the colors. They, they come up to it and then they, they, they have to touch it. And you know what I mean? They touch it and then they move back. It, it's, uh, it's, I really enjoy tra uh, traveling with the work around the, around the world. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell us about the show that's coming up here and what This is my newest see. work. It's all really large scale, the paintings I've done here on Guam. I have a studio in Ipau Point uh, and uh, it's uh, they're, they're large, large pieces. Three of the largest pieces I've done: nine by 12 feet, eight by 12 feet, and nine by 15 feet. And then uh, last summer I spent uh, four months in Japan, and these are small 
paintings I did in Japan. So the, t the show is opposite. Mm -hmm. Large, bright paintings from here, and then small, dimly m misty uh, paintings from Japan. So it's interesting for the audience to come and see the uh, dichotomy of the two, uh, two pieces. OK, very well. Well, thanks for coming by. We hey, can't wait to you. see it. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jason. OK. Uh, thank and th thank you so much for capturing the, the beauty and the dynamic colors of, uh, of our region. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anyplace else or work anyplace else but here. All right, good to know it. Thank you. Thank you very much.